Hey guys, we're we're back again, and this time we're get, we're sitting down to talk about Young Justice season three, the possibilities, and what you can do to help out. I'm here with Durf. Say hi, buddy. Yo. All right, what's going on? So what we wanted to bring to attention to everybody's attention was that um, see if you haven't heard of Young Justice, it's a great DC animated cartoon. We'll talk about it in a second. But um, what's going on right now is it was canceled a couple years ago, and there's a strong push from. Um, everybody involved to try and get a season three on Netflix. In doing so, we're trying to raise awareness as best we can and talk to you guys a little bit about why you should be pushing for this and hopefully um, what you can contribute. Durf, why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, what's going on too? Yes, so basically, uh, pretty much everyone involved in the show, uh, from the producers Greg Wiseman and Brandon Vietti to the stars uh, Jason Spisak, Carrie Payton, Nolan North, Danica McKellar, so on and so forth. We've all come out and started pushing the hashtag to get the show renewed for a third season on Netflix. And they've been saying, you know, that if you do it quickly and you within like the next seven days and really start binging, there's a real good shot. And that they've actually got plenty of material for season three. So they're really trying to push it. Yeah, and you know what? A lot was left. I mean, we were left on a huge cliffhanger at the, uh, at the end of season two. So... I know I'm really looking forward to a season three. I know a lot of other people are too. Moving on from that, again, go watch it on Netflix. That's the whole point of this anyway. I want to talk about, real quick, why Young Justice was canceled. Now, there's been a lot of speculation going on about why Young Justice was canceled. Um, the first one being that um, there was a, a large um, female viewership on the show. And being that there was, because... And especially in season two, there were a lot more female characters that weren't pro uh, prominently featured. The execs at, at Cartoon Network and WB said, well, we can't sell toys to, to females. And so the whole thing was hinging on their toy sales. And because the toy sales weren't up, uh, they decided to cancel the show. Now, I don't condone that at all. One, the fact that I am a figure collector myself, I had no idea that there were, there were Young Justice toys that were being sold. And if I did, I would have bought them. But also... When I did finally see them, I would actually prefer uh, better quality figures. Apparently, that's why it's sold. Anything else that you'd like to add to that, Durf? Well, the other thing, too, is Young Justice was usually put in a bad time slot, and they moved it around a lot, from what I understand. Oh, okay. And there was, there was practically zero advertising for it. Uh, for the entire time I watched it, I don't think I saw a single commercial for it on TV anywhere. No, neither did I. Actually, so poor advertising, poor time slots. You know, and not a consistent time slot. The figures, all that kind of shit. You know, that contributed to it getting canceled. Yeah, um, you know, uh, I I didn't watch it when I was on television. Again, like you, I really had no idea about it. I stumbled across um, a DVD at Walmart that said Young Justice on it. It had characters on it that I recognized. I picked it up and I fell in love. Yeah, I I kind of came across it because everyone was talking about it, and uh, also the Green Lantern animated show that was on. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. And so I decided, okay, well, I'll watch... I think I was initially more interested in the Green Lantern show, so I checked that out first, and that was really good, I thought. So I said, okay, well, I'll check out Young Justice, and then I got hooked, and I kind of felt kind of felt shitty that I didn't get to watch it while it was on, because I never knew when it was on. So I want, let's move on from that, because obviously, you know, there's some, a couple more things we want to hit on. And before we get into the possible Season 3 resolutions... Um, let's talk about how the audience and whoever's listening can actually contribute to this movement. Um, because what I would like to do is I'd like to give anybody who's listening right now the opportunity to, if you haven't already seen Young Justice, to go ahead and turn that on right now and also raise awareness on social media. Um, but after that, if you have seen Young Justice, we do feel like talking a little bit about um, the storylines that we'd like to see picked up for Season 3 and um, possible loose ends that could be tied up as well. So, um, Durf, how can they con how can they contribute? Uh, well, first of all, like you said, you know, go on, watch, binge watch both seasons on uh, Netflix. They're not both on there, so you can't use the excuse there's no way to find them on Netflix. There's all kinds of places you can watch the episodes online. Mm -hmm. That, of course, wouldn't help quite as much, but right, the the guys you know, at Netflix, yeah, they're they're monitoring the view the viewership that this gets. Right, so you more want to do it on Netflix, but if you don't have Netflix. I suggest you at least go watch it, and if you like it and you look, and you really want to see more, go out and promote it on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you can. Uh, on Twitter, use the hashtags uh, Keep Binging Young Justice and Renew Young Justice. Spread the word. Just get people watching it. 
Exactly. I've been spreading the word like crazy. I mean, I own both seasons on DVD, and I've probably watched it on Netflix uh, twice over now, at least. And um, they also did say that another way to help boost up the possibility of a season three is to also buy the DVDs and Blu-ray. So if you've got a little extra cash in your pocket, you find that you love the show, you know what? Go ahead and spend that little extra coin. They're pretty cheap online now. You can find them really cheap. There's yeah, just another like, way. And also, you know, also buy the figures too. Yeah, buy the figures. Personally, I'm not going to because I don't. If they were better quality, I definitely would. But um, hopefully, right. if they ever make a season three, they will. There's ways you can contribute and get this done. So please do. Yeah. So um, just just to clarify, go on go on Twitter, go on Facebook. You know, hit the hit those hashtags, those trending topics. Watch it on Netflix, and then hopefully one day. Very soon, Netflix and the producers of Young Justice will all get together and um, do at least a season three because they said there is a lot that they had ready to go for a story that they never got the chance to put out. So do that, guys. Another thing that I think is really cool about this is that this the ability to get a season three, renew a, a show that the fans love, is in the, the hands of the fans. Um, that's something that you can contribute to and you can actually see a direct result if you if you helped out. You know, it's it's very similar, or it's not too dissimilar, I guess, to um, what happened with Deadpool. Uh, a lot of fan outcry about wanting a proper Deadpool. There was just the right amount of people at the studios and, you know, high enough up that wanted to put their heart and soul into a Deadpool movie, and, you know, we got one of the best comic book movies of all time. So, that was a direct byproduct of the fans and the studios listening to the fans. Um, here's our chance to do it again. Here's your chance to contribute and be a part of something. And to have the opportunity to see the results of what you're a part of. Deadpool got made and is a huge success now because the fans demanded it and because people, you know, like Ryan Reynolds who were involved in it wanted it. And, you know, they got their support and it got made and now they're making a lot of money and a lot of fans are happy. Yeah. So the same thing could happen for Young Justice Season 3. Exactly. All right, guys, so if, uh, if you haven't seen Young Justice... Go ahead, do that now, turn this off, because from here on the next couple minutes, we're just going to talk about the things that we'd like to see in a Season 3. So, if you're just tuning out now, thanks for listening. Come back again uh, next time for our next little discussion. If you're staying by, listen to what we got to say. Dirk, take it away. Oh, yeah, so obviously, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is the cliffhanger with the uh, light meeting with Darkseid on Apocalypse. I mean, yeah, that's a huge cliffhanger story that we didn't get to see. Um, that, and that's something that was threaded in from season one. We saw the apocalyptic tech um, in season one. Yeah. So that's but, something that uh, was been building for a while. Yeah, and I think uh, even so, uh, even uh, Desaad was in season one too. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, I mean, they're definitely been sowing the seeds since early in season one, so they got to that cliffhanger. It's like, okay, well, then that's it. We don't get to see the rest of it. So that's something I'd like to see because usually when Dark Side and Apocalypse is involved, it's, a pretty good story. Oh yeah, and it it's makes a pretty good story. And you know, it's a lot of guys coming to blows with Apocalypse or not Dark Side, and um, yeah. to see the to yeah. see the young guys going up against Dark Side would be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, for sure. Another thing that I really want to see um, tied up or addressed or expanded upon, whatever you want to say, is you know, spoiler alert again, but Wally West's death at the very last episode. I'll tell you what, man, that literally. I shed a tear when that happened, and I gotta know, is this guy really dead? Did they really kill off Wally, or is he lost in the Speed Force, you know? How, what, what's, what are gonna be the repercussions and the ripple effect of actually killing Wally? Because we've seen people be, quote-unquote, killed off, like Artemis, you know, a couple other characters, who actually turned out not to be dead, but for all intents and purposes, it seems that Wally West is, in fact, dead. Yeah, you know, it can make for a great story, you know, seeing how it affects the team. How it affects Artemis, how it affects, uh, I guess, at least Nightwing now, uh, how it affects him, how it affects Aqualad, how it affects everybody. You know, these people who've been friends with him, and, you know, in Artemis' case, you know, love the guy, so, I mean... Yeah, they were dating for five years. Yeah, I mean, so... And plus, you know, it, how, how does Barry Allen react to that? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly that, too. How does Barry, as the, you know, the grown-up Flash react to that? How does, you know, Bart react to that? Yeah, that's because you know, Bart is related to him. So, yep. So that's something I definitely really need to <clears throat> I need to see because Wally West was my favorite character throughout the series, and uh, to see him killed off like that really, it really. But yeah, that's uh, a def It was definitely gun a gut punch <laughs> moment. Yeah. that's for sure. And plus, you know, he, 
they do say, you know, he's trapped in the Speed Force. It'd be an interesting storyline of them trying to figure out how to get him out, too. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, Speed Force really hasn't been um, addressed too much, you know, between Wally and Flash and Bart. We just know that they're fast, but there really hasn't been any mention in the show specifically about the Speed Force. And in the comic books, I'm pretty sure Wally West is the one who actually discovers the Speed Force, hopefully. Yeah, that'd be a nice thing they could explore. Um, at the end of Season 1, we see Lex Luthor and Mammoth or Blockbuster, one of the two, they're wheeling out um, the Bizarro... Well, they never call him Bizarro, but obviously that's who they're, they're hinting at him being, the other Superboy clone right. who has all of Superman's abilities. So at the very end of Season 1, you actually see them cart, they cart that clone off, and we, we never see him again in Season 2. So obviously he's somewhere, and uh, he becomes, he'll end up becoming Bizarro at some point, but um, that's definitely a character I want to see come back because... It's, uh, it obviously was never resolved. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know, those are the things that me and Durf are definitely excited to see for Season 3. Hopefully, you know, crossing our fingers, it happens uh, very soon. At least hopefully soon we'll get an announcement saying that they've been given the green light. Um, but down in the comments section below, let us know what you think. Are there any other stories that you didn't get to see play out the way you wanted to? Are you going to check this Netflix out? Or are you going to keep trending it? Um, let us know what you think. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And please... Tune in next time for our next little discussion. Not exactly sure what it's going to be on yet, but um, it should be up soon. Durf, any last remarks you'd like to say? Um, yeah, also, uh, and also he said in the comments, uh, anything, you know, not even just storylines that didn't happen in, or didn't get finished, but, you know, any storylines you want to see in general in Season 3. Yeah. It'd be a good one to put in there, too. Yeah, also, like you said, uh, you know, keep binging on Netflix. Keep that hashtag, hashtag trending. Yeah, guys, you got seven more days, or I think about six days now. Keep it up, keep watching, tell your friends, and try and get that viewership up so we can get that season three. You know you want it. All right, guys, until next time, you take care. Thanks. Thanks for listening.